Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying. All right. Um, it's night time, so I set the clock to what my clock actually is. As I need to do some nighttime stuff. There's some fishing that pretty much doesn't happen until evening, so it didn't make sense to do this constantly. So, I mean, I think my shop closes in five minutes, which. Alright, anyway. Good evening, everyone. Right now in Chambolonia, it's 7 54 p.m. Friday. It is indeed. Now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. I hope a guest is able to see what it is that makes Chamblonia such a special place. That's all for now. Hope you enjoy the loveliest of days. Alright, we got a camper. So. Um. I need to be quick. Neo music. Be quick, be quick, be quick. This is a bell mentioned in today's broadcast, but today we have first guest. Okay, go check on the guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have bells. Alright, I was left with 420. I have five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Let me see if one of the money trees is ready. Oh shit. Okay, I'm ready. I've not done this in years. The tree is blocking the way. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's typical that one shows up. Gotcha! I never caught one in my original file. Alright, good stuff. It is a fruit day, apparently. I have three minutes, so let's just try and find a money tree, hopefully. Got one. Okay. Well, that's good. I got the tarantula out of the way. Don't have much time. Probably this. We'll take that. Outside of that, I don't really have thousand bells. No. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it. They're gonna close. Oh yeah, the museum's moved now. I completely forgot about that fact. That's why I wanted one space. I'm in the box, whatever, that's fine. But now. Basket pack. Okay. Who's visiting? Drum roll. Ow. Oh. Phil. Bongiorno. The name's Phil. Glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite. And you live on the island, don't you? I figured, yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're really going to enjoy having me here. <laughs> this island is great. What makes it so great? Well, I'm glad I asked myself. It's the fun and the sun, the weather and the wind, the local peaches and the ice skating scene. What do you mean, ice skating scene? It almost kind of makes me think about moving here. No. You should live here, move here. I don't want- I don't want that, no. Jeez. I wanted to play the game we get clothing. <laughs> I don't want- The dude reminds me too much of Falco. Which in turn reminds me of Rivali. Looks totally like a Falco. All right, well, now I gotta wait for this to load. Shit, did it get rid of my spot? Oh. Did it get rid of my spider? Please tell me I still have my spider. I should have dropped it off. Okay. Come on. Uh. It's fine. I still got it. All right. Then nothing to be concerned of. I just can't talk to the dude because apparently I have to let him move in if I talk to him, which I don't want. I'm going to be very picky about the villagers this time around. I haven't donated this before. In the other file, I never caught one. Eek, a tarantula, what a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about the specimen? Go. Ah, I see. In that case, I have... 
As giant spiders go, the tarantula is said to be quite docile, but have you ever seen such a foul fuzziness? It is a fact tarantulas have barbed belly hair. I say again, barbed belly hair. These awful arachnids let loose their spiky, itchy hairs to protect themselves from predators. But seeing how tarantulas also prey on frogs, mice, and even birds, one must ask, who needs protecting from whom? Who indeed? Yeah. When I was a teenager, I had a tarantula jump at me. Oh, again. Holy shit. No, 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 no. It's okay, I think it's fine. I think I lost it. No, it's still chasing me. Turn around. Catch it! Shit. <laughs> yeah, that! Except I was closing a gate. I was, oh, I guess I got Nook Miles for it. Fine. Fine. It wasn't for nothing. But yeah, there was a, a gate that had to be closed, so... The case would be, my dad would get home from work, he'd have his dinner, he'd be exhausted as all hell, and then tell one of us to go close the gate. So one night I did it, and a fucking tarantula jumped at me. Just saw it go past. Like, it didn't jump on me, but... In front of my face, just flew past. I hate spiders. Not necessarily for that reason. I can't believe I ran into a second one that quickly. I think I need to be more careful. But whatever, I got one at least. I didn't think it was going to chase me all the way across the bridge. I thought it was going to give up at the bridge. Shit, a good way to lose it would have been to just... Just jump across the river. But then again, I was trying to catch it, so... I guess it's my own fault. Nothing back here. That's the thing, after a certain point, I stopped getting them on the island, and I couldn't figure out why. That's why I never got the tarantula on my other file, because they just stopped appearing. And I couldn't work out why. Ooh, bells. Uh, I can't do it yet, though. I need 10,000 bells first. I don't think any of the money trees are ready. Yeah, that's weird. I have three fruit trees that are out of alignment. I might just leave them and not harvest. Ah! 
<laughs> oh wait. Something just occurred to me. The store is closed now, right? No, it's still open, okay. Then I guess I still got another hour. Sure. I'll see who's crafting. Oh my gosh, fine, I should have read the instructions, whatever. Ha. Ah. Oh, what's up, Will? What are you doing? Ahem, <laughs> well, I'm making a shell music box. I dreamt the idea when I fell asleep watching Maglevs in Love. It's about trains in love, one of them. Hang on, not important. It doesn't matter if Maglev Mike took their relationship off the rail. Oh, that pun. <laughs> Literally. Because I'm building a thing. Hey, Will, do you know do you want to know how to make a shell music box too? Shell. Sure. I'm going to be the first pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru. So I write down all my recipes. Here you go. Oh my gosh, Foxtrot. It's so way easy. You'll slap one together in no time. Alright. I forgot what that even looks like. Wow. Did I ever get- I don't think I ever got that one. Maybe I didn't. Now, either Stu is home or homesick. Yeah, sick. I need medicine! This cold. It's just... It's... Man, you know? Yeah. I'll go get him medicine. I mean, it counts. Okay, let's see if today's song is better. Lucky? Oh, no, it's not. Why did, why did I get something that sounds like it belongs in Lord of the Rings again? Have a hot. Oh, yeah, I do. I got plenty. <laughs> so, I need to get bait because I need to do cliff fishing. There's important fish to get, but they're only nighttime fish. I don't think there's any bugs I need to get. Outside of that spider, but I've already got one. I'm gonna walk around the whole time. 
and I have to listen. Oh my god, again. Alright, but this time, this bastard's going down. I'm getting my 8,000 bells from this. Alice is just chilling. Doesn't realize the danger she's in. <laughs> Easy money. Look. Look, Alice. That was about to get you. Take this. Huh? That doesn't taste like snacks, but it doesn't taste bad either. I already feel a little better. That medicine was amazing. I want to say thanks. Here's a sleeved apron. Thank you so much. You made a total downer of a day, um. Not a total downer of a day. Okay, but like... <laughs> yep. I should have talked to Alice. How's your day going, Gavna? I stopped by for a chat. Sometimes nighttime can feel lonely. I'm so glad I ran into you. That is so nice. I don't think. Yeah, I'm looking at this. There might be critters. I don't think there's bugs anymore. I got the other nut. Well, I got plenty. Nice. Okay, now I, I have enough to go do the tree thing. Yeah, and I'm just gonna walk over there, just cause spiders. I run into three, it means it's just gonna be a thing. 
It'll be worth it. Uh, there's one more fossil to find somewhere. for bearing 10,000 bells. It's uh, like a bank account. Literally money growing on trees. But it only works when you get a golden spot. So there's one per day. It takes, what, three days? Three real life days for it to become a money tree. What's the return? You got that you got thirty thousand back, so it's a pretty good return. Ten thousand a day. You basically get the quantity per day. But there is a cap. Ten thousand is the cap. Ooh. Damn it, I haven't donated it. Otherwise, I would have put it in my house as, like, a pet. It's a pretty decent way of making money early on. Is this last fossil? in a blind spot. Or I've missed it. Alright, I'll check the west side. Oh, here it is. Okay. Right, Blathers is awake now. This is rare. I got a duplicate. He didn't say all of them, just said one of them, or found something. Yeah, one's a duplicate. Okay, I know how to say Trillobite. 
Triceros skull. What is that? Acanthostega? Like... Dinosaur and their complicated names. I think I've read the Tricera one before. Let's see. As herbivores go, Triceratops was unusually well equipped for combat. What? Its three horns and impressive bony frill probably helped it fight off predators like T-Rex. The frill may have also been involved in temperature regulation or else in attracting mates. Does it seem to you like virtually all distinctive dinosaur features were for body heat or attracting mates? And that is what I have to say about that. I mean, generally speaking, that's what body features are for. It's like survival slash, um, what's the word? <laughs> I guess sex, if I want to say it simple, but that's not what I was trying to say. Trillabite. Okay, what's this thing? Trilobites were ancient and extinct before dinosaurs ever appeared. It boggles the mind. They were also one of the most successful classes of animal ever, existing for over 300 million years. Some 50,000 species have been identified in sizes ranging from 3 millimeters to over 2 feet. That was a weird way to phrase it. It's set it in a metric way and then went to Imperial. Alas, that is the very limit of my enthusiasm for them, though. They look rather too much like bugs. Unless there's no Imperial equivalent of 3 millimeters. I'm sad to let the koi go. An ancient Acanthostega. I'm sure I mispronounced that. Wonderful, it's fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? The Acanthostega, said to be one of the earliest amphibians, it existed well before dinosaurs. Because they lived as fish not long before, they still had gills and very webbed hands. To toss away the life they knew and venture onto unknown lands, they must have been very brave. Hmm. Does it still count as bravery if you have no understanding of what you're doing? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? That is a good question. What's the maximum number of residences you can have? I don't remember. The last time I played this was in 2020, so... I'd be guessing. Alright, tell me about the koi. Koi are a variety of carp bred for their color mutations, starting more than a thousand years ago. Well, one glance at their impressive coloring tells you that the centuries of effort were worth it. And even today, people still selectively breed koi in search of new color combinations. One marvels at the thought of what the koi might may look like in another thousand years. They are pretty nice looking fish. I've seen them before. Really? You're wearing a helmet? <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. Wearing a helmet still puts on a hat on top of the helmet. I guess gotta protect the helmet from rain. Or maybe it's like a Pokemon scenario where it's not a helmet at all, but an extension of the body. I 
want to sell this while this still open. There's probably half an hour left. Okay, I'll buy one of these. The more stuff I buy from him, it just means later. They're gonna offer more stuff on sale. I forget how much you need to spend for that to happen. Alright, uh, I'm gonna focus for the next hour, well, half hour, on getting stuff from the ocean. This is all camper stuff. There you go. I mean, <laughs> me putting it out in the rain, probably not the greatest idea, but you, it's fine. It'll look good when it's sunny. I don't know what kind of apron it is. But see, the thing is it just makes this just makes it look like a dress because of the sleeves. It can't just hang the apron on its own. It has to put it on this weird thing. Let's see, I got... In preparation, I might make a spare fishing rod. I need to do another DIY anyway to get the points. Customization. Okay. I gotta uh, dive in the ocean and get the clam for the stone or otter. All oh, right, make enough money for Sahara as well. That should come hand in hand with this. Alright, that's a good start. if I'm gonna go on other islands. I can't remember if villagers turn up at night.
Nice. Alright, let's hear some wisdom. Hey, man. About that scallop of yours, can I have it? Here you go. Oh, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you're so cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Feel this. If you love your job, you'll never work a single day. Unless you're a heavy metal drummer. That's work. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep. Today's a good day. I don't know what to say to that. Oh, nice, it's got the one where I'm gonna get 500 for spending. That's a subsidized ticket. I'm gonna buy the ticket, I'm not gonna necessarily use it. Keeping an eye on the time. I don't remember what time the store closes. It's either 9 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night. So I either have an hour and 25 minutes or an hour and... Sorry, 25 minutes. Be very cold. I've been swimming at night when it's not summer. It's it's not as pleasant as one would think. And yeah, in the ocean. an acorn barnacle. Oh wait, what did it give me? Mermaid wall clock. Okay. I might be able to craft that. I have the pearls. It just depends how it looks.
Let's see what it is in that. Yeah. I don't know if crabs appear at this hour. I think right now the best way to probably make money is just to hunt down spiders. I'm not sure they sell for much. Oh, this is new. Uh, mantis shrimp. Okay, I'll have to go donate that. I guess if nothing else, I got something new. Nine more to go. I haven't seen anything that would be considered super rare yet. This one looks pretty stationary. Yeah. I 
mean, if I look at all the stuff I found, it's all pretty similar. Like, I don't think this is going to make me much money. I'm either unlucky or you can't find crabs right now. Tell if that's a big shadow. <laughs> Every time I do this, it's always a sea bass, but I'll regret it otherwise. Hey. It's a sea bass. <laughs> I didn't react quick enough. And it still reeled it in, that's how I know it's a sea bus. Also, the controller vibration. A weird DIY TV show. I watched at 2am, told me to make this, so I did. Here's the recipe. I could have kept it just for me, but I like sharing stuff. Hope you make it too. A rock. Okay, to be, to be fair, I don't think it's what I'm... No? Okay. <laughs> Use 15 rocks to craft a bigger rock. Ah, oh, crap. I reeled in it too early. I don't think I'm ever going to get the hundred in a row. I mean, I had to go out of my way to get it the first time around. Okay. Tell me about mantis shrimp. Think carefully before you mock the mantis shrimp for its diminutive size. I warn you, it's itching for a fight. A pugilist through and through, this brightly hued fellow packs a punch unparalleled on land or sea. Not only are his are its forelimbs shaped like clubs and scythes, its arms are naturally spring loaded too. Thus the mantis shrimp's high speed blows crack open crab and oyster shells with ease. And should you grab it with your hands, you might discover why it's called the thumb splitter too. Ugh. I think, I think I'll pass. I'm good. Okay, net out. Just in case.
I don't know if this is going to get me much at all. Oh, that's actually not bad. Definitely more than I thought it would give me. Alright, well I have enough for Sahara. Where is Sahara? I swear they were hanging around here before. Oh, there you are. Nope, sorry. <laughs> Meant to talk. <sighs> interact, interact and swing are the same button. Common problem in games. Rug. Let's start with the large one. I want to see what it is. Yes, now medium. dialogue tree. Mysterious flooring. Do different villages give you different shit, or what's the point? See, these ga these games... The point is, you just play them. And you have fun with it, that's it. The game was designed with the intent of, uh... Just making a village, that's it. And you populate it with... Animals that you want to have in your village. That's that's about it. It's very lighthearted. They don't need to serve a, pu a purpose It's like if you're playing any other game and you pick a skin it's like what's the point of the skin nothing just to make you happy You pick what you like, pretty much. Each of them have their own unique personality and interactions, but do they do anything special? No. Oh, chain link fence, that was the mystery one. Okay, well, let's just see. Can a bunny give a specific decoration and the bird can't? No, it doesn't matter. You pretty, you pretty much just pick your favorites, that's it. The only thing that's different about them is just how they interact with you. Some of them have a sporty personality, others... They're like more of a... I mean, I guess, I don't know, pop star is like the... The whole thing. There are ones that are more childlike. It's, okay, I don't need that map. I think I got this one. Did, did I get the same mats again? No, okay, there we go. 
<laughs> what am I gonna do with this? That's like... If I was to make a bedroom and the bed was in the middle of the room, I'd just lay that rug out. Like, the bed is effectively the feature of the room. Uh, how many other of these tickets do I have? Okay. I mean, I don't really want... That's the thing, I don't really want any of the other rugs, so... I guess I'll buy a big one just to get the two tickets. No, wait, the medium one gets you two tickets. Ugh, but I already got plenty of those blue ones. I mean, either way, I'm getting a rug I don't want. Okay. Yes. I wish you could throw these rugs outside, like a picnic blanket. Oh, ugh. That wasn't very mysterious at all, these two things line up together. I don't think I'm ever gonna use the Sandlot one. I mean, I'll, unless I want to do, like, a garden room or something, I don't know. Um, I mean, the progression in this game is... You take out a loan, it gives you a particular house, you pay that loan, then you get a new loan to expand, you pay that loan, rinse and repeat, until you have the best available tier. Just like most... I guess, games in this kind of genre. You're always working to the next upgrade, and it usually involves just doing whatever you need to make money. Oh, come on. Have I hit this one? No, I haven't. Shit. Oh. I mean, I guess I already got the good item out of it. Oh, no, I still got it. Alright, that's fine. Guess I'll find out it's still open all right so it closes at 10 so we've got another hour Probably the new rock that appeared near the museum. 
I love how I keep moving the rocks away from the path that I've made and they just keep coming back to the path. But I guess that the more I lay it down, the higher the odds that's going to happen anyway. one more rock in the hills. I hear it. Oh, the... I guess it's above me. quick enough. I think I need to just smack rocks, I guess, like I did there. It doesn't give you enough time to swap. So wait, where's the special rock? Oh. Probably this one. Stop. Oh my god. Hurry up. Got it. I don't care that I lost the other stuff. I needed this. Alright, that's cool. Now it doesn't matter. That still wasn't the special rock. Didn't I do this one? I swear I did. Yeah, I did. What? <laughs> I swear I haven't gotten it today, so where is it? Oh, wait a minute. This one's behind here. It might be this one. No, it's not. What? I think I'm losing my mind. I've had a long week. Where is this rock? that one. Ah. 
Uh, I really have no idea. Alright, I give up. If it isn't the world, wait, but I said the world, it's Australia's world worst. I can't read. Brain went dead after trying to read that sentence. You're just saying that I'm worse dressed again. this one. You just come here and be salty. I mean, if that's what you want me to think your default emotion is. That is this the garden. Ah, uh, I mean, it's the start of one. I haven't really done much with it, to be honest. But at least the museum has been moved, so it's like in a better spot. Cat only, that's all I've found so far. Next time Leaf pays a visit, hopefully. Hopefully there's more. I just haven't had any luck when it comes to the islands. I haven't found bamboo, I haven't found one with vegetables. So, that's all I've managed to get. Starting the game from scratch, how do you unlock the DLC? It happens once you get the, uh, the town center. I think a couple days after, then Nook tells you, hey, Lottie's at the airport, and you meet her. So, it's locked behind... ...progression. Yes, let's hear about the center feed. These ugly bugs can have as these ugly bugs can have as few as fifteen pairs of legs or as many as hundred and seventy one. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they never have exactly a hundred. It's true. You know what else is true? Centipedes are carnivorous, aggressive, and venomous. Their bite is quite painful too. Horrible things, I say. That I didn't know. I didn't know they didn't have a hundred legs. I don't have this town center. The... I'm terrible with names. The central building where Blathers and Isabel are. Instead of the tent. You can't, you don't get the DLC if you have the tent. The moment it becomes the building where you have Isabel, that's when you get it. So I do have that. Speaking of, I should purchase the ticket. Just 
because I'll get a rebate. I don't think there's anything else I want from this yet. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I need more music. clothes I'm working on it I'm buying every piece of clothing the sisters sell when they get to town so they'll open up their store and then there's a daily selection That's not gonna work, is it? Hope that's not offensive. What the maracas thing? I don't know. I guess it depends. Like, you can either dance on the line. Or it's like, it's fine, or you can just go completely over and just, like, in text put the equivalent of what, you know, the, the stereotype yell is. Which, to be fair, I love, I love mariachi music, because when they do that yell, it's great. But I'm allowed to say that. have the, the dual citizenship to prove I can say that. <laughs> you have triple? Shit. We got plenty of options if, uh, if things go south. <laughs> Do I want to do this? Screw it. Actually, I need to go to Harv's Island. Yeah. So that happened days ago, I just haven't done it. How do you get citizenship by marriage if your spouse is also a dual citizen? These are the things you ponder in life. 
Yeah, I mean, it just depends on the country. Like, there are people that have dual citizenship just because their grandparent is from a particular country, and even though they were born here and had nothing to do with that other country, they still get it. So, I don't know. It just depends. Welcome to Harv's Island. Don't remember if I mentioned it before, but I run a photo studio. It's called Photopia, because it's like paradise for picture taking, and it's free to all. So come use it anytime. That's it. He doesn't have anything else. I guess not. So this is the only reason he wanted me to visit, was just to use the photo studio. I'm sorry, dude, I'm ruining your pizza. My bad. It just clicked. They just say Cherry Town. They said Cherry Town back, and now they say Peach Town. It's the fruit that I have on my island. Never understood the photo studio. I mean, if you want to take pictures... Now it doesn't make much more sense, because the way people do this stuff now is they use the DLC. The DLC is better at taking photos and showing stuff off. But before the DLC, that was about as close as you could get. Still no bamboo. No campfire either. Oh well. I thought up this DIY recipe while I was waiting for my oven to heat up. Why does that take so long? I tried the recipe myself and loved it, so it seemed worth sharing out. It'd make me happy if you used it. Good luck. Sandy. Natural square table. You know, usually if you want to share something, I don't know, you put it somewhere like the internet. Oh yeah. So it's a good table. We'll put it outdoors somewhere. I want to do like a patio thing. It's got a 1950s Caribbean vibe. What does the music? DLC Island. Oh. Damn it, I got pushed. That sucked. I thought that would stop me from moving back, it doesn't. Your fault? No, it's not. Hopefully, this is one of the night fish. Yeah, it is. But I already have it.
Maybe it'd be extra pest today. Ah, oh, yeah. That, that checks. <laughs> See, I said that just so you can be like, What do you mean that checks? What the fuck's that supposed to mean, huh? I don't seem to be riled up. I'm kind of hard to rile up. Shit. I'm an older sibling to three. Like, it, it takes a lot. And I'm an older cousin to, like, maybe 15. Have patience. I'm dressed as a green smurf, so I could be right. The term is pitufo. I'm dressed as a pitufo. Was it full? I can't remember if it's four or full. It's been ages. Wow, oh, it's foo. No. No, it's four. It is four. I was right. Kakiri Forest Child. Yeah, I could see that. Oh shit, right, shovel. Well... I can't make it, can't- yeah I can, okay. No wait, I can't. I need hardwood. Shit. So I won't even... Hmm. I don't want to spend milk miles just to get the stone stuff. Okay, you're gonna play your island and hope it's spring. I mean, what, have you got your switch set to a different time zone? Shake the trees safely. Yeah. 
I got another fridge. Another tree fridge. Now I can have a second fridge. Well, there's not a whole lot else I can do. Alright. I can't get the most of this island because my shovel broke. Yes. Chop trees. Eh, it's fine. I think I've done what I wanted to do today anyway. Got the fossils, did the otter thing. I guess the only other thing I got to action is like the temporary moving of <laughs> this thing that's gonna cost me 20,000 bells just to move this shit one tile. Okay. So pretty much whatever I do, it has to erase this here. So if it's not erasing these tiles here, I have placed it incorrectly again. That's how I'll know. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's... It's such a waste of money. But it's gonna bother me otherwise. Um, I don't need to go there. I think I got everything. I already got the string fish donated. Your island is a mess. I mean, if you haven't played it, I would imagine in a year, if not longer. Just wait, the passive aggressive comments, they're coming. That's the next thing I gotta make a dent in, is the home. Money-wise. Okay. There was a spider in the background, damn it. I could've gotten a spider. Um, alright, let's... Uh, infrastructure. Layout changes. An island home. Alice. Yes. She's always going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be funny because I'm gonna move her and then move her back. <laughs> Moving Thai home sounds like it'd be thrilling. I'd love to have you move it, Governor. Okay. Jeez. 20,000 bell mistake. <laughs> Shit, I hope it is. I'm pretty sure it's Alice's house. Imagine it's not. Okay, it is. Now...
Yeah, it's so annoying that you can't. <laughs> you can't just. Hey. I have something to give you today. Here it is, shorty. Just wanted you to have a lantern. Oh. I don't need anything in return. Just. It's just a little something something, you know, shorty. Oh. Alright, well. I'm gonna place it here. Okay, one back. I don't know why I'm being so particular about this. Okay. And <laughs> gotta move it back. Okay. Now that's everything I wanted to do. It's the same fridge. <laughs> yeah, two fridges. What now? I got nothing else to put in here yet. What did I just get? Oh, cool. One fridge is just drinks. Well, fridge and freezer. I guess one's a meat fridge and the other one's like veggies and then drink fridge. I don't know what else I would put in a second fridge. All right. Well, this one's going to be a short one, because it's a nighttime one. But I wanted to do at least one nighttime one. The store's going to close in 25 minutes anyway, so... At that point, I can't really do much else. Also, I wanted to see if there was a meteor shower. There was not, so... Okay. Well... If you're watching this later on YouTube, this is the part where I say this is the end. But thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, and hope you enjoyed. And if you want to support the channel, just remember there are buttons you can click that will indicate that you enjoyed the content. So, thank you to those that do do that, it helps out quite a bit. And, uh, if you want to watch me play something else in the meantime, I'm sure I remembered to put the thing that recommends two more videos, so... If I did, I hope you enjoy those as well. But till next time, bye YouTube.